What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. All right, guys, so this is the new member orientation webinar, uh, probably week like 37 or some shit like that, but we are here to answer all your questions. Thank you for being patient with the TPS reports. <laughs> no, what? Joe, what's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> the TPS reports. I love that movie so Hell much, yeah. man. Oh, dude, this is fucking, it's a classic, man. It's a classic. It's the best, dude. It's the best. So uh, it's been wild, bro. It's been wild. It, I, I didn't do anything today except short Roku. And that was it. That's all I did. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I didn't do I I didn't dude I didn't do much either on the short side. I just, I swung a couple big caps overnight into the strength of the market and I got a nice gap up. But outside of that, man, I was just like it, it, I don't know, man. I'm I'm waiting for tomorrow for all these low hangers. I didn't really attack them today. It's uh, fucking wild out there. So uh, low hanging fruit question: THMO. We had lines set per Alex's watch list, but it didn't hit these levels. What is the approach we should have if it flushes at the open? It doesn't so, hit your fucking line. You don't fucking trade it. <laughs> Blunt but real. Fuck. Let me, hold on, buddy. Let, like, me, let me. I love let me. these questions because it, everybody, <clears throat> they always ask the question, right? It always comes out. And this is what I talked about last night in, in the webinar was that whenever one trade fails to come to fruition, like it doesn't work out, right? It, or like you miss it or... It doesn't, it's like it happens, but you botched it and you didn't trade it or whatever, whatever it is. Okay. So let's say it never happens and the lines never come. Okay. Right. It does not mean another trade immediately forms, right? So there's, mm, there's, nope. there's two sides or there's three people involved in trades really for the most part that, that dictate price action, right? There's the, there's the people that are the buyers there's the people that are the sellers, and then there's the uncommitted person. The uncommitted person is the person that's waiting for their line, okay? They're waiting for their line. If the line never comes, they remain uncommitted, and that's it. They have no position. They're flat, nothing yep. else. So if you don't hit your line, you don't fucking hit the stock. Dude, that's solid, man. I'll just jump in there and say like everything that Joe said, I agree with, man. The, here's how I approach everything, every single kind of stock or at least small cap at the beginning of the day. Everything is two scenarios for me. I like outer lines unless something absolutely takes in, you know, a landslide downside, then I will readjust the plan. But there's really almost never readjusting your plan unless a really drastic movement. Dude, this is where you scale. I don't care. I don't care your play style. I don't care how you like to short. This is the only safe trade waiting for it to get up into these other levels. Cause like we talk about, this is the first mountain range top, obviously the topping action. This is where the resistance is, man, right here in this general area. Like I want to say like being, you know, a little bit, you know, conservative 95 to 105, dude, that's the scale zone. So if you can wait for that, that's the blackjack hand, but there is an exception. If this was to dribble out like it did dribble out, Dude, you, you don't, you don't chase it. You don't hit right here. You don't hit, you wait for this original plan. If it doesn't come, it doesn't come. But here's the other scenario. If this were to absolutely, I mean, tank to like under 70 in one candle and really break down, then yes, you're allowed to pop back to like VWAP because that would be such a drastic breakdown that you can, it, it, it's like an outer level when it gets back up to. So if this broke down under like 70 to 65, then back, you know, back up to like 77, that's an outer level on an adjusted plan, but it's not adjusted because you're planning for that. It's like option one or option two. So it's either you get your outer lines or you wait for the ultimate breakdown and short the pop. It's simple, dude. If you're hitting here on the dribbles and you're, you know, taking teasers, you're just doing yourself a disservice and, and establishing really bad habits, quite frankly. I don't know how better to say it.
pretty straightforward. Yeah. Last yesterday, somebody asked a question about about Boeing, and it, the same thing applies in small caps as it does to large caps. Man, there, it was somebody asked a question was <clears throat> because yesterday I was like intraday trend broke. It's a potential short now. The intraday trend broke right as you see it slammed through VWAP at like. 9.45 your time. Oh, 9.45. 9.45 my time. Got you, got yeah, you. Yeah, see, right there. Right there. Right there. That slam right there broke a trend line <laughs> that I had drawn. And when it pushed back into the VWAP level and the trend line, I shorted right there, covered on the washout. And then when it washed further, I was like, well, fuck me. I didn't think <laughs> it would go that far, right? We never do. But so, never somebody do. immediately asks, they're like, okay, now that the short trade is over, what, what's the trade now? And I'm like, there's no trade now, right? There's, there's no trade in the moment. Sure, you can try to find a trade and make a trade out of thin air, but that's not what you want to do, right? It's not strategy of being a trader. At that point, you're just you're just you're just a gambler you're not nah, dude gambling. if you are looking for a trade on the fly and there's any form of no preparation and winging it you've already lost that is not trading that is gambling yep that's dude that's why every single day there's a freaking watch list and we like the watch list because it's a planned watch list it's not like alex is like eh, you know maybe this maybe that within like a dollar or two dollar rent no dude it's very specific it's like yeah. 180 to 210 if it doesn't get there you don't want to hit capper like that's how it is yep and most of the time when you do a watch list during pre-market before the market opens i said this last week but a watch list during pre-market is with a rational mind. A trade plan after the market opened that was not pre-planned whatsoever is with an emotional mind. An emotional person during any situation is at the biggest disadvantage, whether it's in a business negotiation, whether it's in a trade, whether it's in any situation. Any situation, when you make a plan or you try to act in an emotional state, you're most likely gonna do the wrong thing. But when you act in, an, in a rational state of mind, the only way to act rationally is to plan it out during pre-market before the market's opened. Then you have your plan. You're like, okay, this is what I want to see. That way when it happens, you're trading based off of a rational mind plan, not something completely and totally different. Bro, and this is why we talk about FOMO all the time. I mean, honestly, dude, it's, there, there's just no better example than TTOO, right? Because it's so conform to the lines. It's like, dude, all you got to do is wait for this level. If you're getting in here or anywhere that's not where you should be, you're, you're just – you you feel like you missed it, so you've got to make up for it. And then you got to trade it, and then you get squeezed out, and you don't have a perfect entry. Entry's everything. Man. So when you follow your pre plan and you get in where you should, dude, you're gonna be able to think logically because you're not scrambling <laughs> because like you don't have a good entry. Entry's everything, dude. That determines your exit. That determines adding. That determines adding to a winner for God's sakes. It determines you know where you're gonna stop out, dude. Because like if you have a really boss ass entry right here. Maybe you can give it to high a day break. That's, that's a decent amount, right? But if your entry is down here, you can't give it to 105. You know what I mean? You're going to stop out where you should have been right. And then it goes down here. And you're like, oh my God, I was right. <laughs> so welcome to why yeah. trading is a complete mind fuck. And at the end of the day, it's literally just based on you against you in your own psychology and terminology of did you plan or not? Because dude, trading simple. This is where you want to hit it. Did you have the patience to wait for that though? Yeah, I think the call dropped there for a second. Dude, okay. what are you with, T-Mobile or some shit? Funny story, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're joking. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Fuck AT&T and Verizon, bro. Yeah, I had okay. that shit for years. I'm, I had I'm that sure. shit for years. Where's my big buttons? I'm shorting blindly. I'm Dude, shorting I had $300 a month. I'm shorting 10,000, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, what is yeah. it? I, I don't remember what T-Mobile is. What is it? I'm just doing this for fun. But <laughs> TMUS, I think. TMUS. TMUS? Oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Short. Dude. I fu yeah, for real. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so I had fucking AT&T and Verizon. I've tried all of them. Like, I had all of them. Dude, I paid 300 bucks a month for AT&T. Two lines. Oh, my God. I was God. like, eat a dick. No. I'm going over here to T-Mobile for fucking hundred bucks for two lines, including taxes, free data, free all this fucking I'm in sign me up. 
Bro, I'm paying Sign 65 a month up. for Verizon Unlimited, biatch. That's the best. Yeah, is. dude. Dude, if you ha- if you got in with like Verizon on that like uh uh the grandfather shit like way back in the day when Verizon was like good uh <laughs> before they started to club you like a baby seal. Um <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Dude, that was the shit. Like, bro, I I had friends in college that they were like, "Yeah, I'm on my, I'm on my parents' plan. We get grandfathered in through the Verizon thing before the switch." And I'm like, "Oh, man!" Like, oh, when somebody talks to me about OTC pump and dumps, like the real OTC pump and dumps, like I get excited. And when somebody talks to me about that grandfather plan for Verizon, oh, I get the same same piece of excitement. Oh, there's right. nothing like a good phone plan. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling, telling you. Man. <laughs> Joe's like an 80-year-old man in like a 30-year-old's body that just exactly. he's, like, he's, yeah. the, he's the type of guy, he's the dad that goes out on his lawn and it's freshly mowed and he just is so proud of that freshly mowed. I drink my coffee and my robe with my slippers and pick up the paper off of the sidewalk. And God, does he get happy when he saves $10 a month on a phone I'm, plan. Dude, I'm telling <laughs> Yeah, man fuck these fuck these places they're out they're big corporations they ain't getting as i'm not giving them a damn penny over what i need all right dudes i'm winded joe's winded <laughs> this was awesome let's uh let's save it for uh any other questions man you guys can pm us uh we'll rock next week thanks guys and stay home man you never know who you're saving seriously all right joe catch you next week buddy later bro Later, man. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.